Well, hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Art Waddell. Today I am doing a workup review of this piece I recently unboxed on the channel. It is a diamond painting 30 by 40 and it is from Everyday e -deals. I will show you the image. Here we are. So I just call this one Dragon and Lady. I'm not sure what it is titled on the web page, but I will add this product into the description box for you so you can find its link there. Um, also will be the website Everyday e -deals, and I will also add the unboxing. If you have not already seen that, you may like to um, just check that part of it out as well. So you'll be able to have a look at it in further detail there. But I'll do a recap for now. As I said, this is going to be a 30 by 40, that is canvas. I have 24 colors, DMC, and I will be codes as well. And I will be using the uh, charting here is just all capital letters by the looks of it. There's also another chart on this side as well. So there we go. So that's a really brief recap um, of this piece. So far, I think the symbols and so forth looking pretty good this might get a bit interesting and so forth but you know in general for this type of diamond paint i think it should be okay it's um, going to get interesting to see how this part works out as far as her face but i think i mentioned that in the unboxing as well but yeah so that's a very brief recap now this one um i'll just put that this one came in baggy, so I've already kitted up. This is what's left inside the bags at the moment. It is round drill. So I've still got a few there. And I've kitted up as such. And I've just put Everyday e Deals Dragon and Lady, just so I can reference which container goes where. Um, as you can see, simple number system I will be working from. And the drills are looking pretty good. The drills. There we are. We'll have a quick look at that. So you can see these containers are quite full, really. Plus I have some leftover colours in those bags, which I'll top up as I go. Oh, it's bright pink. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this one works up. So I will show you a finished project sh product or project or whatever you like to call it um, in just a few moments, really, for you guys. But it will take me a little bit longer. Some beautiful neutrals. And that's it really, it's 24 wasn't it? Yeah, so that's it, but empty that one. So there you have it. So I've just popped it in one of these containers. I find these 28 grid um, containers rather good. Try not to get the shine too much and you can sort of see all the colors in there. No, it wants to reflect everything, of course. Anyway, so that's that. Um, you can just basically see that there is some leftovers in there. There is some leftovers. These um, bags, by the way, were all numbered well, like for your, you had your DMC and the charting number as well on there, so that was really good. And when I was getting up, they were looking pretty nice and tidy as well, these drills. So, so far, so good, what I can tell you. I will see what this image looks like when it's all complete very soon. I'll just show you a little bit of progress as I go. Okay, let's get started on this one. Where will I start? Top left? Most likely. All right. Let's finish this off and I'll let you know how it all works out in the end. Right, so now I have actually completed the diamond painting. Um, so I'm going to reveal it now as it's in its completed form. So this is what you would get once you finish this kit. So we're going to turn them over. There we are. Mm. What do you think? Uh, it has a nice shine about it. Uh, just even sitting still, I can see lots of sparkle and shine. So I'm very happy with that part of it. That's for sure. The design, I think it works okay at this size. Definitely lose a lot in her face. Um, through the, the camera for you guys can see. Her face looks quite good because of the different shaded drills around her eyes, but they do look like little black dots. Um, so I am considering changing them out to 
maybe a different type of drill, maybe more of a grey or one of the rhinestone crystals to give it shine, but just a different sort of texture. I think that might look better. It looks a little bit stark as well as her mouth is just this one single pop, pink bead. Uh, but that is due to the size of the canvas, not um, any other reason. So if you had, for example, able to get this image in a, in a 50 by 60 or something like that, you wouldn't have that um, starkness of her face. It would be much more detailed and a lot better. So uh, keeping in mind the size when I talk about those areas, that is the best it's going to do. Uh, her hair looks really nice. There is some nice soft wispness about it and shading. So I think that comes across with some nice movement. I like that. Uh, most of her outfit looks really nice. This is a little bit... Um, so I the colours in her uh, ribbon, I was going to say, or cloth that she's got her skirt tied up with. But again, that is due to the size of the drills to the image. But yeah, in general, you can make out there some flowers. You can see her staff. You can see she's got a ribbon. Uh, you can see her, uh, her creature with her mythical creature, dragon horse. I know they've got a name, but I can't think of it right now. Uh, so yeah, it in general, I think comes up pretty nicely. Now I was sort of thinking the way this back corner here looked in how I was drilling it and so forth, it was going to be a different color, like more blue, but it's actually quite a gray drill in that area. I thought it was going to be more like this, but for some reason it's not. Um, yeah, so I don't know what was going on with that, but it's definitely in the image uh, I might just draw the side by side there of the image of this one, what you see on the website. Uh, and you can see it looks a lot more bluer, I felt, than what the drill was. That's probably something I, um, when you're looking at the kit itself, um, it looks quite blue in the background there. But anyway. There is 24 colours in this thing, so that's a pretty decent amount of colours, so that will help a lot with um, shading, etc. But in general, it's a very nice image, and it's got a beautiful shine. I really, I don't know if it's going to come up, but you can see it's got a nice shimmer. There we are. Now these, this is um, not natural lighting, this is just a, you know, your standard sort of inside light going on. So imagine that in some sunlight, it would be really, really pretty. So yeah, so I'm happy with the end result. That's the main thing. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Quite a lot of detail is involved in this image, so it comes up rather nicely. Um, we'll just have a quick closer look, I suppose, at everything. Now, there was no um, problems with the drills. They were all pretty good, as far as I recall, you know. The, the symbols I didn't have a lot of trouble with, so generally it was pretty good. I did use a light pad, etc., but I'm in a little dark corner. So there you go. Just looking at the details there, as you can see, the um, the roses are sort of of a mixed sort of colour, but you can see the pretty shine. Look at that! So the drills are pretty. Look at that! So yeah, very nice. It's got a really, really, really nice sparkle. I must say to this one, I'm really happy with that. And just, you know, sitting it on the table and as you move around, you get that shine and it goes like this. Beautiful. But you can see her face there is what I'm saying. When you look up close, it looks weird. Um, but uh, from a distance, when you sort of hang it on the wall and look back, these other little drills of colour behind it sort of give the depth to the eye and it looks a bit more better. But there we go. So that's that one. It's rather nice. I'm very happy with it. Uh, again, it's from Everyday E-Deals. I will have everything linked in the description box for you guys. 
to check this out and also um, you can check out the unboxing if you'd like to see what the canvas looks like from the beginning a bit more. All right, well, moving on to what is left over of the kit. Uh, this one came in baggies. Uh, as you can see, it was round drills. Uh, this is literally what's left of the kit. Did not run out of any colours. Uh, all present accounted for. And I actually love the fact that they came in the Ziploc bags. They also came here with your number of your drills and your DMC codes. Everything is printed on the bag. And therefore, I kit up in one of these 28 grid doodaddies, right? So as soon as I was finished with this dime painting, I was able to put everything back into their bags and put it nice and neat as such, ready to store. Uh, I didn't have to wait till I had the opportunity to record this uh, review or anything else. I could just automatically pack up, get another kit going, use the same boxes. I loved it. I was really happy with that. So I'm hoping in the future I'm going to get more with the Ziploc bags. I know people can actually work from the Ziploc bags. I've tried it. It's not going to happen. But I do like the idea of able to... Uh, I've got... Uh, myself kitted up. I've got somewhere to keep my drills that are going to be locked up and safe and easy to identify because they've got these codes on them. And I'm able to put my leftovers in a nice little um, package ready to go, put away straight away. And then I can go and color code them or do anything else I want to do. But yeah, I, I like this. I really did. I was really happy with that. And um, I was able to pack things up pretty quickly. So there we go guys that is all the leftover drills uh, again i didn't have any issues with those they're beautiful and sparkly i'll give it that there's beautiful sparkle to these round drills uh, and the image looks damn good i think for a 30 by 40 so there you go happy with that this is a really lovely piece nice and shiny so if you want a nice sparkly diamond painting uh, this is definitely one of those uh, as you can say just be aware of the image might not have as much detail but it is still a very, very pretty and very effective piece. And when you put it up on the wall and just stand back, it looks really nice. So, um, yeah, happy, happy days for me for this one. So I've got another great product from Everyday E-Deals. I will be hopefully back with some more from them guys soon. Fingers crossed. And, yeah, uh, I'll say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this little review. Uh, from Everyday E-Deals and myself. There you go. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Stay crafty people. I'll see you in the next video. So hit the bell so you know when I upload next. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye for now.